This Daily Brew is brought to you by Ink Playmats, the official playmat vendor for RogueDeckBuilder.com. Order your own custom playmats today by visiting InkPlaymats.com. And be sure to check out our very own Rogue Deck Builder playmats. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with another episode of the Daily Brew. This one I'm going to be taking an idea that I've been trying to mess around with. I did this in Theros and it didn't really work out. And I think with the addition of like Temple of Malice... I really, and, and just the, the metagame switch over to more of the UI control and mono black, I'm thinking that this deck actually works very well. Now, I, I've already come in, playtested this a little bit already, and already had a bit of a problem with when our opponents uh, land like an Underworld Connections. But, I mean, against Mono Black, we do have the Thossies and Duress to actually get rid of those. And it, this, is, this deck is really good because it can shift over to have a very favorable matchup versus aggro, and then it can shift back over to have a, a favorable matchup against like the mid-range and control deck. So I'm really liking this so far. So let's just go over the idea of what this deck is. It's a discard deck. This is kind of like the good old 8-post, or sorry, 8-racks, not 8-post, eight 8-racks eight modern deck as we're using Shrieking Affliction as the win condition. And we do not have the rack, but we do have kind of like this this Mogus, God of Slaughter, Rakdos, Kirunes, and Mutavaults to kind of act as our our finishers here. So I'm using uh, just a three of Mutavault. Uh, maybe I could go up to four, but I was I was getting a little bit flooded with with not having the like double black and double reds. This deck has a bunch of those in here, so I, I cut it down to just three Mutavaults and added one more Rakdos Guildgate to try to fix. So it's just 23 lands because we we don't really we curve out at five, but we eventually get there with the amount of card draw through the Underworld connections or just by prolonging the game until we naturally just hit you know our fifth land drop so i'm loving gray merchant of asphodel because it helps us stabilize plus can be the finisher and it has really good synergy actually with rakdos lord of riots if you can get in there for some damage with rakdos lord of riots on the board then you can cast your your merchants for just two mana and a lot of times like say say turn five uh you can actually cast double gray merchant I've had that scenario actually happen already. But anyway, so so the deck runs a lot of discards. It's going to be four main board of duresses and four thought seizes. I think duresses are pretty much good cards against the format except for monsters maybe. There's a few creature heavy decks that duress is, is bad against. But a lot of times it's not a dead card. And I do want to maximize the way that I can first turn, look at their hand, and then be able to then use like a slaughter games to actually be card disadvantaged. Now I have two more slaughter games in the sideboard. Again, messing around with how I want this to be their main board or sideboard. And Chandler, between Chandler Pyromaster and Unworld Connections, we should have card advantage. And so we're using a lot of removal. We're using four Devour Flesh, four Dreadbor, four Bile of Blight, and four Heroes Downfall. I think that's a good, versatile little package. And then we have tons more removal in the sideboard against the aggressive decks, like Mizium Mortars, Bile Blight, Stark Betrayals, Devour Fleshes, and Anger of, Anger of the God odds as well in the sideboard uh then so i mean a bunch of our sideboard is dedicated towards the the aggressive matchups versus control the good news is like the only dead cards versus control because the devour our devour flesh and bile blight so these would come out for two more Rakdos's return and two more slaughter games versus the control and then again none, none of these cards are dead because both dreadbore and heroes downfall can take care of their planeswalkers and the rest of the cards are just fine. So so that is the reasoning behind those. And then against the, the aggressive matchups, what we take out is we take out the Thought Seizes, we take out the Duresses, we take out the Rakdos' Return in the Slaughter Games, and then just play a, a control with this package. So pretty self-explanatory. So far, loving the deck. It's been working really well. I'm going to enter this into, oh, I think I just missed a, a tournament, but I will enter it in, into a an eight-man queue or just do some two-man queues here and see how well it does. Uh, the, anywho, if you have any suggestions for this deck, please, in the comments below, uh, tell me what you'd put in this. I've thought about, like, Disciple of Phenox. I've thought about even Mind Rot, but both of those just seemed a little bit clunky. And I also thought about... You know, of course, the the more mutable else. I've thought about Desecration Demon. Um, I thought about just like an early Rakdos Cackler to make them actually adjust to thinking you're kind of an aggressive strategy and and whatnot. But so far, this has been been working out the best. I'm thinking about maybe Erebos needs to be in the sideboard against any sort of life gain deck. But 
pretty much I think versus control, we're gonna we're gonna weed away their hand with thought seize and duress and then put them on a bit of pressure, you know, with our card draw and like Mogus got a slaughter and whatnot. And I think I think that we are a little bit vulnerable to detention sphere and needle, but I think we eventually get there versus control. Again, this will have to take some some testing uh, to do. And if we land like a slaughter games against the Elspeth heavy decks, then they're down to one um, one uh, win condition with their with their Aetherling. So, anywho, uh, Packrat probably would go nicely in this deck as well because we are running the Mutavault. So Packrat definitely is an option as it works well with Grain Merchant of Asphodel. And it's still something you can get that that Mutavault Packrat draw and then Thoughtseize and Duress can actually um, protect it. You get rid of the removal and then Packrat can just go crazy. So I don't know. Packrat's definitely an option in this as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this deck. This is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah.